Hey everyone, I had a lot of subscribers asking where I thought Palo Alto Network stock could be by the end of this year. So that's what I'll do in this video. I'll do the usual estimate and assumption analysis, look at its financial metrics, its valuation, its prospects over the next several years, and determine where I think Palo Alto Network stock could be by the end of the year. So let's dig into the details. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so one of the numbers I'm going to need for Palo Alto Networks is its stock price, and it's lately been on a tear. The stock price has increased all the way up to $376 per share as of this recording. Of course, if you've been around this channel for a while, you will have remembered that Palo Alto Networks was one of my top stocks to buy recommendations in 2023. I told investors to take profits on this stock sometime around this point here with the stock price around $250, $275 per share. And you can see that I was a little bit ahead in telling investors to take profits. Still, I left Palo Alto Network stock rated as a stock to buy. I just decreased it from my top list of stocks to buy, and it's remained there as a stock to buy for this time. Now, in this video, I'm not going to answer if the stock is a buy, hold, or a sell. I'm strictly going to give a stock price prediction for Palo Alto Networks. So let's continue. One of the other things I'm going to need is Palo Alto Networks price to earnings forward ratio. As you can see, it's trading at a forward PE of 58.56, near the most expensive this stock has been, according to this metric, going back one year. As part of the stock price run-up, the valuation has also increased because although earnings have increased, they haven't increased as quickly as the stock price is increasing. I also need the forecast for earnings per share for Palo Alto Networks in 2025. So when you're using the forward price to earnings ratio, you need the earnings per share estimate for one year ahead. This gets a little bit tricky here for Palo Alto Networks since its earnings year, its fiscal year, ends on July 20. 25 or every year july in that year it doesn't run on a calendar year companies are allowed to do that because sometimes their fiscal years are organically different than the calendar year so they're allowed to do this although it does cause some confusion they're still allowed to do it so for palo alto networks its earnings per share forecast for 2025 is six dollars and 45 cents six dollars and 45 cents so we're going to use that and we're going to come here in our valuation model to predict the stock price where we think it could be by the end of this year. So if earnings per share does come in at $6.45 as analyst forecast it will and the forward price to earnings ratio stays the same at 58.56 then Palo Alto Network stock price could be $377 per share by the end of the year. So if you're paying attention, you will have noticed something. The stock price is already $377 per share. So if it goes up to $377.71, that would be a meager $1 increase for the rest of the year, which I don't think is going to be the case, actually. I think Palo Alto Networks has better prospects than this. However, let's continue with this price prediction and let's look at some other scenarios in the worst case scenarios if things get worse and its price to earnings ratio were to fall to 50 then the stock price could fall to 322 dollars per share if the forward price to earnings were to fall to 45 then the stock price could fall to 290 per share and in the worst case scenario i've modeled here the forward pe falling to 35 the stock price could fall to $225 per share. So in order for the forward PE to increase, the valuation has to increase. And one of the reasons why I think valuation will increase is because of the cybersecurity market. It's one of my favorite markets to invest in right now. It's got growth expected for an entire decade and more. The global cybersecurity market is forecast to grow to $538 billion by 2030, 538 billion by 2030, according to Statista. Of course, that would be up from the 218 billion in 2020 to 96 in 2022, and going up to 408 billion in 2027, and then 538 billion 
by 2030. So this is a market, this is a total addressable market that continues to expand. And I wouldn't be surprised if it continues expanding at a fast clip even beyond 2030 because increasingly more of our lives are becoming digital and for that reason you need more cybersecurity. it's only in the beginning stages of growth it's becoming more of a necessity instead of a nice to have and so that's why i'm really bullish on this industry longer term so one of the reasons why i recommended palo alto network stock as a top stock to buy in 2023 is you notice here Palo Alto's operating profit margin. You see how it was dipping for several years until 2022. And then we started to see an increase here. But I didn't immediately upgrade Palo Alto Networks to my list of top stocks to buy. I like to see more evidence of a turnaround instead of just one little dip upward. I want to see that sustained before I upgrade the stock, right? And I did see that with Palo Alto Networks all throughout 2022. So at the beginning of 2023, I felt comfortable placing it on my list of top stocks to buy because at that point, it had consistently demonstrated that it was improving its operating profitability, making progress toward profitability on the bottom line. And right now you could see it's at 8.15% as of the latest trailing 12 month average. So if this metric continues to move upward, then I wouldn't be surprised if Palo Alto's forward price to earnings metric continues to move higher. It's closely related to its operating profitability and its cash flow from operations to sales metric. Similarly, you can see that trend after moving downward started to move upward. This time it was earlier in mid 2020 and you started to see that upward trend and then we saw the dip here. That's why I wait before making a recommendation too early because you can see Palo Alto Network increased here stayed solid and then dipped again so that's where there's caution and then after it clearly demonstrated it's growing again it's not going to fall back below to 2020 levels it's not going to revert to that decreasing cash flow from operations to sales it started moving its way back upward and then i felt comfortable recommending the stock as one of my top stocks to buy this was in 2023 of course now back to the price prediction so $377 per share is if the forward price to earnings stays where it's at. I think there's going to be a mix of an increase in earnings per share because we're looking at the earnings per share for the year that ends in mid-year instead of the full year ahead in 2025. So if we were to take a mix of that, right, we take the 645 figure and the 778 figure, because part of that will be in 2025 as well, in calendar year 2025. So if we were to mix that up, and instead of forecasting on the $6.45, what if we were to forecast a $7 earnings per share for Palo Alto in 2025? And that would get the stock price to go up to $409.92 per share, which is, I think, a more reasonable forecast for Palo Alto Network stock, given that it's already at $377 per share, that would be a roughly 10% increase from where it's at now. So my stock price prediction for Palo Alto Networks in 2024 by the end of 2024 would be in the range of $405 per share to $400 and $20 per share. From 405 to 420 would be my prediction for Palo Alto Network stock by the end of 2024. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.